So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the daily maintenance on the Cobus 6000. Um, you don't need a whole lot to do this. You just need to get together some uh, alcohol prep pads, some uh, lint-free gauze, and last but not least, you also need to get some uh, deionized water. Now the first thing you can go ahead and do is um, clean all the various probes with alcohol swabs and that's going to be the ISC probe, the ISC sipper probe, the reagent probes, and the uh, sample probe off to the left, and then there's a sample cover that you have to clean as well. And uh, that's pretty easy, you just go up and down the probes, make sure you clean off any debris, and for the cover, just make sure you clean off any of the plasma splatter or serum. Um, after you've cleaned all the probes with alcohol, uh, the next step is to go ahead and worry about the reaction cell uh, cleaning station. And you have to go ahead and unscrew that. You don't really have to do this. Um, you could just try and uh, clean it without undoing it, but just so you can see it better, I decided to undo it. But once you unscrew it, uh, you just be, you know, be as gentle as possible because you don't want to damage or kink the tubing um, any more than is necessary. And for this, you're just going to need your lint-free gauze and some deionized water, and you're just going to clean each one of these um, various little probes. Uh, I don't show it, but after this, just be as careful as possible reassembling it and uh, make sure nothing's kinked. Uh, after the front is done, you need to come to the back of the machine and clean the ISC drain port with lint-free gauze and deionized water as well. Now, before heading on to the 601 side, um, it's helpful to go ahead and go into the utility section and under maintenance put the system in manual cleaning mode. And this just makes it so you can move all the various probes back and forth with less resistance. Um, also, I'm not going to show it at the very end, but when you're done doing your uh, maintenance, you can go ahead and uh, either cancel maintenance, or you can, at the top right, just hit stop and stop the system, and it helps to do a reset after this, just to get everything back in order. Now, for the 601, you need the same things, the alcohol prep pads, lint-free gauze, and of course, deionized water. And for all the uh, sipper and, and reagent probes, you're going to use alcohol. So those sipper probes are going to get alcohol. Uh, the reagent probe is going to get alcohol. And the sipper probes in the back are going to get alcohol. And then you follow up, which is the difference here, is you're going to follow up all of the um, probes with deionized water. Um, now when it comes to the sample probe in the uh, back right corner, that one right there, you actually just use the uh, lymph-free gauze and deionized water. You don't use alcohol for, the, for this one. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.